when we talk about timelines, it will be timeline. Because when they say, we want this, we want to have a meeting, on, you have agreed on the time, please be there and make sure you show up, of course. So we will be discussing those next steps in, um, in the next session. But it is important to, that you've asked that. So thank you very much. Yes, Dr. Mwanga. Please think about that now. Those who have been teaching us, this is the day of all these steps. I am involved in very busy. I was thinking of because it's not easy to take in everything and you know, 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 you I'm so sure we do we have like a kind of instruction. Then we get stuck somewhere. Then instead of calling you all the time, just there, I'm scared, what should I do? The instruction there in the video, you will ask me, can you follow up with me? So that's what I'm suggesting that you will put for us a nice, a decent video. That's a good suggestion. I think I will. Yeah, I'll take it up. I'll take it up. So it, it, it's a to-do, like, like uh, the FAQs in text, so we can also do a small how-to-do video, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. That's awesome. Okay. 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 Right, that's a good concern. Uh, we, we started recording late, unfortunately. If we had started recording yesterday, this would be produced actually and it would help already. But this is part of it. It's already a work in progress. So we'll add, we'll add what we missed yesterday and then uh, it can be shareable. So thank you. Bin, that's the last one, I think. Yes? <laughs> in the area of special needs, uh, we identified that we are inclusive multimedia helps them to understand. But here, I'm thinking that uh, now we are inclusive animation and multimedia, something like that. So it gives me an approach called I am. Mm. Yes. And it's upon us to translate the knowledge we are getting here into the classroom and we bring it across our language. Uh, this is a real expectation. I was discussing with my brother. Uh, we have courses of programs that are not too practical. They are full of narratives. We already just talked to So I expect when we are talking about this storyboard, at least to give us some skills on how we can summarize uh, these uh, forms become uh, animated. Again, it all, it all it will go back to you, by the way. Okay? That, that's, that's how I'll attempt to answer it. But thank you for appreciating, and I'm excited that you have never remained the same. So that means if I am to do a little bit of evaluation of our, our training, which you are going to do at the end, by the way, you're going to do a small evaluation, I would say at least learning has taken place. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, with regard to how you can translate your, quote, dry course, which is theoretical, into something um, exciting, it's go, it goes back to you. The storyboard artist will not, will not break down the content and make it interesting until you have told him how you want it to be interesting. So again, it goes back to you as the lecturer to think, to think deeply and say, how do I make this course which is so dry? How do I make it interesting? What, what, um, what innovative features can I, can I bring in in order to make my course Interesting. So once you have thought through that, because you are the expert in teaching, right? You are the experts. So 
really it goes back to you. It, is, it will be you to break it down and then together now with the, the, the storyboard people and the animators, you, you can now bounce it off them. I, I want it to be like this. What do you think? And you, you can discuss that. That's, that's very funny. I mean, this is very negative. Yeah. yeah. But I, I am expecting at least mm. the person presenting the storyboard mm. to share experience. Mm -hmm. Previous experience from other works. Because I think he is listening. He is listening. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he has some experience how it uh, has been uh, done mm -hmm. from the previous part. Uh, okay. Yes. Because I know I'm supposed to break it. Yes. But if I get some standard uh, sort of skills mm -hmm. to break the very big essay into Okay. I think the anyway he will he will he will talk. I don't want to talk on his behalf, but what I, the disclaimer I can put on his behalf that really this person is not a teacher, and um, he he or it could be a lady. They really depend on us, and uh, the expectation again to you. We don't expect you to create storyboards actually. To be expecting too much to create the storyboard, that you are the one to create the storyboard, no. Unless you are like Moses, who is into instructional design, uh, in that particular area actually, Moses could want to further his skill and even know how to do storyboards for himself as part of his father learning, okay? But uh, here, we don't really expect you to do that. Somebody else should, but you, you are just thinking of it. So thank you, I think I need to stop here. And um, then uh, we get into the next session, which is how do you work with this anime? Thank you very much So for this session. So we are going to cut right here.